Everything Everywhere All at Once is one of the most creatively interesting movies that I have ever seen in the past few years. And I firmly believe that anyone going into the movie with an open mind will for sure get something out of it. This film definitely deserves all the buzz it's getting right now. Although, admittedly, a good amount of the press has been about comparing budgets with a certain Marvel film that is screening at the exact same time. But while the visuals definitely get people excited and interested and through the door, the real value of the movie is how human the story is, which I believe is always the basis and the most crucial part of great storytelling. But just a note before I dive in, I've tried to keep this video relatively spoiler free, but if you want to watch the film with as little, shall we say, influence as possible, then I would recommend you skip this video. Multiverse movies are not new, but there have been quite a few popping up recently, mostly in the superhero genre, such as Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Most of the time, multiverses seem to be used as a way to connect all the various timelines and versions of characters together so that the franchise overall makes sense to the audience. But when multiverse storylines are used to post-rationalize how a franchise has played out, and seemingly just for business purposes, I don't find those stories exciting because it feels like the movie is just wrapping up loose ends. Everything, everywhere, all at once does not feel that way. Of course, it's a completely original work and script, and so there's nothing franchise-wise to connect up. I believe the film was successful though because it uses the multiverse concept to explore themes of identity and choice. The movie explores something we've all experienced asking ourselves before. The question of, what if? What if I took that other job instead of the one I currently have? What if I turned left instead of right? What if I went to a different school instead of the one I went to? What if I moved to another country? For many, that last question is the biggest what if that plays out in our heads. And usually, the biggest what ifs have the biggest consequences on our lives. That's why I believe that centering on Evelyn who immigrated from China to America, and exploring her what-ifs was what made the multiverse concept click in this movie. Before watching this movie, I hadn't connected the idea of using the multiverse to explore the immigrant perspective. But I think it really works, because immigration is such a big decision, and life-altering decisions naturally cause people to think about the biggest what-ifs. The zany and imaginative different versions of Evelyn make sense because it's realistic that big pivots in her life would cause dramatically different versions of herself. It also makes sense that this version of Evelyn is the most imaginative Evelyn of all the parallel universes, because she's made a really big sacrifice, and it hasn't quite paid off. And in fact, the American dream doesn't always pay off. Everything, everywhere, all at once seems mostly targeted at an American audience, and a large subset of people watching the film would have immigrated to the States or are first or second generation immigrants themselves. They definitely can relate to what Evelyn felt in the movie. In fact, they may have even asked themselves the same questions of, what if they hadn't moved here? Has immigrating really paid off? Or for those like me, what if my parents hadn't moved here? Immigrating to somewhere new and not feeling like you immediately belong is challenging. And despite all the hard work that you might have put in, it just never feels enough to break through to achieve your version of success. Through the mundane daily grind, it's easy to lose sense of hope, optimism, and what matters. But this movie reminds us that what matters isn't pursuing the American dream and that version of success. Instead, it's kindness and the people around us that should matter the most. And when those bonds are broken, then really, that's when all hope is lost. Of course, that's not to say that only people who have immigrated to a new country would relate to Evelyn's story. Actually, I think the globalization of our modern society has made it easier for many to travel and move to new places. This increases the amount of people who would be able to relate to Evelyn's story and understand what it feels like to be in a completely new culture. The power of the internet also allows us to discover more parts of the world from our own homes. 
This provides our brains with even more tantalizing what-if thoughts and scenarios. What struck me the most about this film is that the multiverse wasn't a gimmick or a tool for post-rationalizing the story. The multiverse was purposeful, and it was used to explore things that matter in our lives. From what-ifs to our collective dissatisfaction of chasing a never-ending American dream. I hope we see more films that focus on using interesting concepts, like the multiverse, to explore identity, choice, and the turmoil of human emotion.